Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Well, it's time to switch over from training protocol level one to training protocol level two. I have just completed my first six weeks of using the Super Speed Golf Training Protocol, and I have really started to see some really impressive gains. So let's just talk about the gains that I was able to achieve over here in the first six weeks. So when I first started out this program, my club speed was hovering right around about 111 miles an hour, which isn't too bad for a guy that weighs 160 to 165 pounds at 5'9". I don't do a lot of strength training at all, but I was lacking a little bit in club speed if I wanted to hit the ball a little bit further. Decided to give the super speed training method a try, and I have seen some really large gains. So in the first six weeks, we have gone from an average club speed of right around about 111 up to week six, I was at 117. I was really surprised in week six. Week six really was impressive because weeks four and five, I did notice a little bit of a plateau. Now that is actually very accurate using the trading protocol system, but what really surprised me was my fastest club speed using this training protocol just a couple of days ago, 117 and a half miles an hour. Really, really impressive. Not only was I able to get more club speed, but the ball speed also resembled that as well. And I was at 175.9 as my highest max ball speed. Not only was I swinging faster on my fastest speed, but my average club speed in week six was right around, just under 117 miles an hour. And then we really noticed there was a huge jump from week five to week six there too. So stay committed to it. You may notice a little bit of a plateau, but as you can kind of see in the week six that we experienced some really large gains. I hit my furthest drive ever, 340.7 yards. If I didn't do this program, I don't think I would have ever experienced a 340 yard drive in normal conditions. Maybe if it's firm outside or the wind's howling downwind, but really, really impressive. So in the first six weeks, on average, we picked up 20 yards. So now I begin my transition to level two, level two in the training protocols. This includes some training where I swing when I get down on my knees and kind of take the lower body out of place. So it's a lot of upper body work. So I am going to uh, go through training protocol level two. This is the first time I'm gonna be doing it. So I might seem a little bit uncoordinated at first, but I'm gonna bring you through the process. I'm gonna to continue to showcase how important club speed is and how overspeed training definitely helps players. So far, I've picked up six miles an hour I set myself a goal of 120 miles an hour club speed by the end, and I'm only two and a half miles an hour away. So the dream is real of 120 mile an hour club speed, the dream is real of 180 mile an hour ball speed. So stay tuned for that. Let's do protocol level number two. So what is training protocol level two? So it is quite similar to level one, but we do include the component of kneeling swings. So we continue to do our normal swings with our dominant and non-dominant side. We then do kneeling swings on our dominant and non-dominant side. We then add in the step through swings on our dominant and non-dominant side. And then we finish up with our normal swings, three swings as fast as we possibly can at the end. So let's do training protocol level two. So I just got done getting loose, warming up here. Keep in mind, make sure it's important. You wanna make sure your body is very loose. We don't want to pull anything, especially when you're swinging really, really fast. So let's first start off with the green stick. And with the green stick and the uh, other two sticks as well, we do three swings on our dominant and non-dominant side to start with. 
So let's see how good the, the left hand is swing is today. Yeah, that left-handed swing just gets faster and faster. I'm up to 110 miles an hour. And then next we switch over to the blue stick, which is the medium stick. We do the exact same thing. Very good. I'm seeing about a 10 mile an hour difference between the right-handed swing and the left-handed swing as I'm doing this right now. Okay, heavy stick. That is the red stick. Okay, so we transition to including the kneeling training position. So I don't have probably the perfect setup here. I'm hitting off artificial turf, which is probably better than hitting off anything hard. But I know on the Super Speeds website, they do have a little pad that you can kneel on. Uh, I think this is going to be perfectly fine. It's not going to hurt my knees. Um, but just make sure that you don't hurt your knees while you are doing this. Get yourself something nice and comfortable to kneel on. and try to not hit the ground while you're doing this here as well, if you can avoid it. All right, right on 100 miles an hour with the kneeling position. Pretty good. Definitely uncoordinated left-handed doing that. It definitely gets harder as it gets heavier. All right, 100 on the dot with the heavy stick kneeling. We have to write that down and keep that in mind as I'm doing this. Set myself goals to outperform. Well, good news, I didn't put holes in my pants on my knees, which is always, like, always good news. Okay, so just like level one, we also do the step change, so the step through method. You start with your feet together, and you plant that leading foot, and then drive and swing aggressively through. Pretty good, 112 miles an hour. That last swing was 120 miles an hour. Pretty good with the medium stick. And then we finish up with the heavy stick, step through, and then we will go back to the light stick and swing three remaining swings as hard as we can. All right, that was 97, slowing down a little bit with the step through with the heavy stick left-handed.
OK, so I've given myself a chance to catch my breath a little bit. As we mentioned, we're going to finish up with three really fast, normal swings with the light stick, just to kind of finish up the uh, first session in level two protocol. All right, right around about 130 miles an hour to finish up there. Not my fastest that I've ever done that. I think I did crack out at 136 one other time when I was training at home. But I definitely felt like my speed in general across the board has started to get very, very consistent. So it's exciting times to make that transition to a different level. As I mentioned, in week four, week five, I did notice a little bit of a plateau with regards to my club speed. Wasn't quite seeing the same trend of it keep going up and up and up. It kind of went up and then kind of plateaued it at about 115 miles an hour for a couple of weeks. But in week six, we got that jump. We got that jump to 117.5 as my fastest and 116.9 as my average. And that was my average over eight swings as well. I took out the first swing, which I believe was still 116 miles an hour. But when we looked at the numbers and compared the numbers, my best seven of eight, my last seven swings, were hovering just under 117 miles an hour. So, so far I have picked up six miles an hour more club speed. I've picked up around about 21 yards of carry distance and 19 yards of total distance with my driver. So I'm excited to see what level two results will show here in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna to continue to document my search for extra club speed using training protocols, using over speed training as a way to get my body, get my mind used to the feeling of swinging a lot faster. I hope you enjoy this content. Stay tuned for that and also subscribe if you can. Thanks for watching.